Hello, everyone. Oh, hold on one second. Got him. That damn buffalo messed up my intro. I found a nice, pretty spot, and I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to do the intro from right here because it's really pretty here. And I started, and here comes a buffalo just running across the damn screen. He's dead. Nice. So we're going to go down there and get him. But anyway, like I was saying, hello everyone and welcome back to Hunter Call of the Wild. We are on our buffalo hunt, and as you can see, it did not take long to be very, very successful with this hunt. That is a gorgeous animal. Look at that left lung shot, absolutely perfect placement. Silver medal for the animal, very, very good. Now, one thing about these buffalo that I've noticed on this game is they are never alone. So... I didn't see him with any other buffalo, but when there's one, there's always multiple. So I think we have a pretty good chance of possibly finding more buffalo in this area to shoot. So I'm going to kind of wander around here. All right, I found one. At least I heard one. It, it roared at me. Bellowed, whatever the hell a buffalo does. It made a loud noise. Uh, it's right up here somewhere. I never saw it, but I heard it. So I decided I would crawl on the ground so they didn't see me. There's two right there. I don't have a good shot. I'm going to wait. They're heading off in this direction, so I'm going to kind of circle around here and try to head them off at the pass, so to speak. Try to cut them off because they're, they're heading right between those two trees. Not those two trees, but those two trees where that big gap is. I think that's going to be my opportunity for a shot. So I want to get myself over in that area to where I can I can get a good shot off when I see them. Hopefully they don't hear me. I'm, I'm squatted down and walking, so I'm not making as much noise. But there is a risk. But I think if I crawl, I'm not going to make it there in time. Okay, I just saw them off to the right. They're still heading this direction. So I think I have a pretty good chance of, of shooting them here. I just got to be very careful not to spook them. I got lucky with that last one. I shot him right in the lung, and he barely went anywhere before he fell down. As long as I make really good shots like that, I'll be okay. But if I make a bad shot, there is a chance that I'm going to get killed. Because those buffalo will charge, and they will run you over and gore the hell out of you. But hopefully, we are going to make very good shots, so we don't have to worry about that. That's the plan, at least. All right, so they should be coming right around this tree here soon. Unless they change direction on me. Let me kind of get up here and see if I can kind of take a peek. This is risky because I might spook them. Oh, they're there, right there. All right, I don't see them. But they're in this area because they, they just yelled again. So we just got to keep our eyes open here and try to... Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go for a, a really good... It's a little bit further back than I wanted. But it still should have probably hit liver. But here he comes. Uh-oh. I missed my second shot. I got I to gotta hit him with this one. Here he is. Right in the face. And he's still coming. Dodge, dodge. Oh, crap. He didn't get me head on. He got me. He kind of glanced. Gave me a, like a glancing blow. I gotta shoot him before he turns around and gets me. Alright, that killed him. See what I mean? They they will charge at you and gore you. And what he'll do is if he hits you head on, you're dead. But if you manage to get out of the way a little bit like I did, it'll give you like a glancing blow and it'll hurt you, but it won't kill you. But then the bison will turn around. Yeah, I hit him in the intestines and stomach the first time and hit him in the skull and jaw the second. But then the animal will turn around and come back and gore you again. It'll keep coming until you're dead. So you got to keep putting rounds into it. 
Now there was one more, but probably with all that shooting, he's hightailed it. So we're going to have to walk a little ways probably to find him. But I might get lucky and he might be hanging out. We'll see. Most likely I'm going to have to make a run to try to catch him before he gets away. I don't see him anywhere. Hopefully I didn't miss him. All right, we've been walking a little ways trying to catch back up to him. I'm going to go ahead and build this real quick. And uh, this area here has a lot of track in it, so I think that probably he's hanging out around here somewhere. So it's just a matter of trying to figure out where he went and then trying to shoot him before he gets away. With all these tracks... There's definitely more than just that one buffalo out here. There's a whole herd of buffalo somewhere in this area close. But I'm not going to kill the whole herd of buffalo, I don't think. That seems kind of greedy to me. I mean, I've already killed two, and that's definitely going to fill my freezer and then some. I'm going to get this last one, I think, and then that's going to be it. I will leave the rest of them for somebody else. If I can find this other guy, he might get away. And if he does, that's okay. Because like I said, I killed two already. I mean, that's a lot of meat. If I was doing this in real life, I wouldn't kill any more than one. He might have got away. I've been walking for a little while. I'm up a lot further than where I was up on this river. And I don't even see tracks anymore. So I'm thinking he might have he might have escaped. I'm going to walk a little bit further up here. Oh, there he goes. I was about to give up on you. Come on. I must have made a pretty good shot on him cuz he's not charging. That means he's hurt bad. I might be able to get another round in him before he gets out of range. Eh, no. He's behind that tree. And he fell. He's down. All right, we're going to walk over there and pick him up. There's our buffalo. Just making sure that there's no other buffalo around here ready to charge me. So here's buffalo number three of the hunt. I have no idea what I would do with this much meat. It's just way too much. I'd be giving it away to everybody. They are such beautiful, beautiful animals. Yeah, that was a lung shot. That's a gold bison, a gold-level bison. I've never taxidermied anything. I might taxidermy this guy because he's a gold-level bison. And I haven't shot a gold-level bison yet. Let's see. I've never taxidermied anything either. So, okay, I did it. Now he says he's available in the trophy manager. Where is the trophy manager? I guess I'm going to have to go maybe into the map menu and see if I can find trophy manager. I've never even heard of that. Let's see. What do we got? Trophy modes or lodges. Trophy lodges. Okay. So I guess this is where I display my trophies. I don't own any. Okay, well, how do I buy them? How much do they cost? Do I buy them with game money? Or real money? How does this work? I'm not buying them with real money. I've already spent a ton of money on all the DLC for this thing. I'm not buying a lot just to put trophies in. You don't own required DLC for this content. Yep. Boo! You gotta buy more DLC just to display your trophies? That's BS. No, thank you. I will not taxidermy anymore. Alright, so that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and all that jazz, and I'll catch you on the next one. Till I speak to you again. Love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye. <laughs>